Okay, so we're going to address something I wasn't even thinking about addressing right right now, but you know, I just got inspired, so I feel like I'm going to do it. This T-top, and actually both T-tops, but this one mainly, it is separating where the glass meets the frame. You can really see there. It is separating bad. And it's happening almost all the way around. There's only a few spots where it's connected still. Like, that's a pretty big gap. So that's gonna let water in. That's causing a little whistle as I'm driving. And eventually it's gonna detach all the way. And if it detaches as you're driving, it's gonna go flying off. So we need to peel it off, take it all the way off, clean up the glue, and then re-glue the glass back to this frame. The weather stripping that we put on earlier, you know, a few months now, this is still doing fine. We're just at the point where we got to do the, the actual glass that bonds to the frame. And luckily, it's just a weather strip adhesive, so I don't need to buy a gasket or anything like that. Got the T-top separated. So this is the frame part of it. Um, so really, you know, not bad at all. Um, like all this little corrosive stuff. I, I don't even know how I would go about cleaning that up. Um, I see a couple clips have kind of been come undone. I, I think I just didn't have it in all the way. So now is like the easiest time ever to clip it into place. So I gotta clean up both sides. Um, we have here where the weather stripping kind of seals against the frame, and then parts of the back side of the frame. And then on the, the glass side, we have all this junk, just dried up weather stripping pieces over here. All this needs to be cleaned up. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to take my time re-gluing it, make sure I get it centered in the right spot. All right, here we are. It's been a couple days. I had to end up ordering a caulking gun. Pick this one up on Amazon. Not the cheapest of the cheapest, uh, more like a, a medium level. And I picked up this 3M window weld. For some reason, I thought it was weather stripping adhesive. I went all the way to AutoZone, got back, and then I was thinking about it, and I was like, there's no way weather stripping adhesive would hold a T-top glass in. So. Just looked it up online, sure enough, it's supposed to use uh, urethane, kind of like, actually exactly what you use for windshields. So, got this, oh, and also, I cut a little V into it, I don't know how well you can see. It's about a quarter inch, and then just under a quarter inch uh, of height to the V, so. Gonna give the T-top one more wipe down before I put it on. I have a GoPro suction mount on the other side. That's what I'm going to use to handle it. Now, it kind of seems like maybe the right thing is to put the glue on the T-top itself. I mean, because we have this outline. However, if you do that, then you can't adjust it as well. So what I've been messing around with, I'll bring you over to the car is I have tape set up trying to get my dimensions correct. Now I know this side is pretty good so I'm matching it and I've always known this passenger side has been a little off. So what I'm doing is I got my line for how like when I touch this that means that's as far forward as I need to go and then I got the line so this is straight all the way down uh, I think you're supposed to do it with the weather stripping off, and I honestly don't know if you're supposed to do it with the T-top mounted into the car with the frame. This is how I'm going to choose to do it. You know, you'll see with me whether this works or not, but I'm suspecting that I'm going to put the bead on the frame, and it's going to be on the actual frame. I don't want to stick into the weather stripping because, you know, weather stripping is not strong enough to hold it up. It's 
it's going to break off because weather stripping is holding on by the weather stripping adhesive. So I want to stick this 3M window weld to the frame. Now when I smush the glass on, I'm sure it's going to go over into the weather, the top of the weather stripping a little bit, which is perfectly fine. That would honestly make an even better seal, so we'd be good there. Um, yeah, just going to follow it down. These areas, I'm going to do um, two passes, you know, because it's like this is a meaty patch area. And then this is a meaty patch area, so... Once again, two, maybe three here. If I have excess, that's perfectly fine. I can wipe it off. Um, well, I, I can cut it off once it's dry. So that's the plan. Gonna just give it a shot. As you see it, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, it is now drying. Uh, I got two clamps here, hammer there, impact gun there, so it's being pressed down. Um, you can't see, but there's also this kind of tape, but I mean masking tape, what does it really do? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, you, you always see it with when they replace the windshields, but I don't understand how little masking tape can hold it together. Unless there's special tape out there, but... Uh, but I, I think, I think it's all good. I added a little more here in this corner just to get it to kind of stick better. Now there's too much overflowing out, but no big deal. I can scrape it off uh, once it's dry. We look pretty good here. I, I think we are pretty lined up. I mean, I had the door closed with the window up when I put it all together and everything's looking good. So I'm hopeful. All right, gonna let it dry. I'll see you tomorrow. So here is the T-top. It's been a couple days. And you can see a little bit of excess coming out here. No big deal. I can just take a razor blade and cut that off. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, some of this that's protruding on the outside here, it's gonna be a little harder to clean up. But no big deal. You know, all we really care about is good coverage, that there's no gap, that's not gonna leak water. Now, I've already taken a look all the way around. If I had the weather stripping off, it'd be easier, especially for you to see. Let me flip it over and show you one spot I found. So the side that was closer to the center brace, I found, if you can see, you can see light there. There's a little gap here. This place did not really get good coverage at all. Uh, so it would definitely leak water and there's no seal there, so Everywhere is covering, or everywhere is bonded except for this strip. What I can do is stick the the gun in there, spray a little, clamp it down. If you remember, I didn't have clamps on this side. I assumed it would grab, but it didn't. And you know, I can move it around, and there's a little flex where, yep, it definitely needs to be clamped down. So if you're doing this, you definitely want to clamp it at least four corners, maybe, however many you can do. Glued it in, so what I did was I lifted the weather stripping up, stuck my caulking gun in there, and got a nice little bead. Um, they say you're supposed to lay it on. Um, okay, I'm forgetting what the saying is, but with the caulking gun, with 
a windshield adhesive, you're supposed to go like straight at it and not kind of just let it fall on the place, but jam it in there. You know, I, I had no choice. I had to just put it at that angle and just get it in place, sandwich it down together, let it seal that way. So that's not going to be as good of a seal as like the parts where I was 90 degrees or at least close to 90 degrees. But I think this will do a good enough job. You know, we got the bond. Now this is an extra protection, extra security for the bond, but also mainly it's going to keep water out, <laughs> which is probably most ideal. Now, I think there's probably a little little bit of a gap like right around here and maybe on the other side too where I wasn't able to fill it in. So what I can do is take rather regular weather stripping, come back, probably just lift all this weather stripping or at least this side of the weather stripping off, give another little bead and then attach the weather stripping and you know that would seal it up. So at this point you know, this is good. I'm going to let it dry. Um, it probably doesn't need a full day, but I'm just going to let it dry overnight. And then we're good to put it back on the car. Now, on the car, we still have the driver's side to do. The driver's side was not as bad. It's only lifting right in about this corner. So, really, I could stick the, the adhesive right in here, clamp it down, glue it down probably good the right thing is obviously take it off and then do the exact same process that I just did to this side so we'll see uh, what I think what I'm gonna do is once that passive side dries I'll put it on compare see if they look about right if they do I'm, I might just stick a little glue on this side I don't know we'll see but I think that's going to be it for this video. I mean, the next part is just putting the T-top on and there should be no difficulties there. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.